this is it. And when these men are king, like the are like the the caliph, and it's like, it's like, where is he? Where is he? That's him over there. Where? This is your ruler. This is your king. Mm. This is your ruler. This is your king, sitting by a tree, mm. on his own. Where's his palace? Where's his throne? Where's his security? Cleaning the blind woman's no, house at night time. No, clean it. Like no, mm. we don't have that. These, but look at us today. Like today, man gets a little following online, and it's like. So man's calling that like we're pointing out other people's sins. Like, brother, you need to stop this. You need to fix up, bro. You need, we all need like you see the whole the entitlement, like the proudness, and you see me, you see me. It's like I don't think I've got the right, the right to try and anyone speak down to anybody. You've never seen. I ain't got the right. Who am I to be speaking down to another person? Belittling another person, looking down on another person. Like I'm trying to be in a way where I want Allah to be with me. So if mm. I see someone doing something wrong, I'm gonna show a bit of mercy and a bit of compassion and say, "Do you need any help?" Because that's what I want. I need man to show mercy. I need Allah to show mercy to me, compassion and and help me. You see me, and I'm not attacking no one who's done whatever. Everyone's got their own way of doing things, but you see me. At the same time, I just think, yeah, but man needs to help him. Man needs to help her. Like, obviously something's wrong. Do you understand? How can we help? Not how can we destroy, how can we help? Because I know when I'm low and I'm ruined, man better come and help me. <laughs> Do you understand? Help. Don't try and ruin, like, yeah, you see, let's finish him off. Like, you know, like in wrestling, he's down. Let's go from the top ropes. Bam, finish him off now. Now he's not coming up. Pin him. One, two, three. Dead. It's like, that's what we want to do. Like, finish each other off. Mm. Like, help. Help. And my thing is this. Like, we have to, like, we have to, like, want good in the world. And we have to try and, like, try and enforce good in the world. But at the same time, we have to lose the ego. Like, we're not, no one's special. Only by Allah's mercy. Only by Allah's mercy are we going to get paradise. So it's not our deeds, it's not our deeds, like it's not the greatness of us, like we're good. We're all mash up. That's the way I see it. None of us are good enough. <laughs> None of us are good enough, bro. This is the truth. I ain't good enough. No one's good enough. Like no one stop acting like you're good enough or this one's good enough. We've all got shortcomings. None of us are good enough. The same person you're looking at saying, Ra, he's a that you also have issues and shortcomings. None of us are good enough. So how are we going to lift each other up? Stop thinking about putting it, how can we lift each other up? And it's all of this, it's like, we're so busy. Man will make plans, like, we're so busy. Listen, this, listen isolation is a beautiful thing because it can just make us go back. Go back to the basics. The basics. One beautiful thing about South London, 2002, 3, 4, when a lot of us young brothers from the street was converting and taking our shahada, it taught us something we didn't know like a brotherhood, a unity, mm. and it was love. It was teaching us how around, to did eat. Did you grow up around uh, Ismail or Stade Ismail? No. Because he's, 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 he's around the same area as you, around the same age as well. Right? Um, you know Ismail, who I just did the episode with? Yeah. That's my brother still, but no, nah, so he might have known me. He might be okay. a little bit... Um, but I've known Ismail for years. Okay. For years, 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 years. That's my brother, my brother. Yeah. Known him for years. He uh, we used to see him in Lewisham, Masjid. Like I see, I yeah, watched him grow. Yeah, 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 I watched yeah. him grow, and it's like, ah, uh, what, a, what? A, like, you see that, but you see what it is when you see brothers like Ismail, and you hear the way they speak. You hear the love and the yeah. peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the peace. They yeah, say you right. can always, you can always tell how much knowledge someone really has by their character. So. The character speaks volumes mm. and you see that they just want to spread love wherever they go mm. and they don't act like they are on a pedestal and that's what makes me proud and like so happy when i see that brother speak and i heard him speaking about certain issues and he's still talking about alhamdulillah mm. you know whatever allah wills bro and this is what we have to have this humility and just go back to our essence and the way our brotherhood was then it's like it was a togetherness and we all was trying to lift each other up. And we were coming as street boys that used to go out to do badness. And that, 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 the, what Islam done to us then, such a beautiful thing. And 
we've come such a long way. Even Abu Bakr, I see him in Gambia and he's doing stuff with orphans. And for me, I can remember what you was doing, how I used to see you 20 years ago. And it makes me smile. And I think of Musa, Salam. And I see he's doing reso and giving trainers to homeless people. And I look at him and I remember seeing him and thinking what you was doing 20 years ago. And the same with Ismail. And the same with so many brothers. And it's like, do you know what? This is a beautiful thing and let's keep it beautiful. Let's not ruin it. Like, like, let's not destroy the image of it. You know what I mean? It's like I went on a, a live with some in a non-Muslim group. And sometimes it's like, I should never have to be scared of what the Muslims are gonna come and say. The Muslims are people of beauty and peace. Do you understand? But sometimes it's like when I've got a mixed audience of Muslims and non-Muslims, I'm more fearful of what the Muslims are gonna be saying than what the non-Muslims are gonna be saying. Wow. And this ain't right. No. Because I, this is not right. We're meant to be the people of peace and love. Mm. And mm. beauty I'm meant to be saying to the non-Muslims Look at how my Muslims conversate Look at their comments Look at the beauty That's dawah Instead, I've got the non-Muslims saying to me wow, I'm scared to comment on your page, bro I'm scared to even write something Because it's like your Muslim followers just go ham Like, once I got a non-Muslim said something on my page Like about Mecca The guy's like Known, had number ones in the charts, got a blue tit, like he's a big platinum selling artist. He said something about Mecca, that looks peaceful, I'd love to go there. All the Muslims start telling him he can't go because he ain't a Muslim. He has to take his shahada first, it's not for kafirs. And I'm saying, rah, to where a man wants to delete his comment. I was giving someone so much dawah, mm. sorry. And they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they became a Muslim, they were a new Muslim, like, and, and it's like they loved it. And then I got a message saying... I don't know if this is for me. And they said they keep getting DMs from other Muslims explaining, telling them what they're doing wrong. Mm. Like, oh, you're, you're not meant to have a dog in your house. Why have you got a dog? It's haram. Da, 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 da. You're not meant to this. You're not meant to that. And they said there's so much that they're just starting to think maybe this ain't for me. Mm. And I'm saying, what? You <laughs> like, and they don't understand the situation. Like, this is... Someone who's converted, maybe they're living in their family at home. The family's got dogs. The family's not going to start saying, oh, okay, sometimes the family ain't even going to let you be a Muslim in the house, let alone say, oh, for your benefit, we're going to get rid of the dog. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Do you understand? Everyone's yeah, yeah. circumstance. But it was like, I said, no, nah, don't worry about that. Just ignore the message. People are always going to say, I said, yeah, but it's too much. Like literally every day I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong every day. I can't take this. Like, and I was just like, Phew. 